In this video, I'm going to review the Norton VPN. I'm going to test out the speeds, see which locations it has, and test out any extra features that it has to offer. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start off our Norton VPN review, I'm going to be doing a speed test. First, I'm going to do it on my home connection. And then once we've got the speeds for that, I'm going to be testing it with the VPN enabled, compare the speeds and see what kind of speeds we get with the Norton VPN. So I'm going to hit go here to get my home connection speeds. Okay, so the speed test has completed. And as you can see, I've got 741 megabytes down, 725 up, and I've got a ping of two. Now I'm going to connect to the Norton VPN. Then I'm going to refresh speedtest.net and let's try another speed test and see what kind of speeds we get with the Norton VPN enabled. So the speed test has completed and as you can see these speeds are actually amazing with Norton VPN. I've got 556 down, 733 up so this is really like there's not much difference between this and my home connection and my ping has stayed, stayed the same at 2 so Again, no difference and this makes this VPN uh, great for gaming or anything else that you need it for. Norton VPN has some extra features and I'm just gonna break down a few of them for you. The first is a kill switch and what a kill switch does is when you're connected to the VPN and you, let's say your connection randomly drops, First, it will wait to reconnect to the VPN before connecting to the outer world. So this way you don't have any IP leaks or any data leaks and the kill switch will keep you safe behind the VPN at all times. The next feature we have is ad tracker blocking, which is a great way to stop all of these uh, data collecting sites from collecting information about you and serving you ads all day long. So this just basically blocks any of their trackers so they won't be able to link you from one website to another. And the final feature is a split tunnel feature and this basically allows you to run certain programs with the VPN and certain without. So let's say I have Chrome and Firefox and I want to run Chrome with the VPN and then Firefox without. Well I can use a split tunnel feature to run Chrome behind the VPN and then use Firefox with my normal internet. So now I want to break down the locations that Norton VPN offers and in my opinion this is a, just a weak point of this VPN. They don't offer many countries at all and inside of those countries you can't pick specific cities whereas with other VPNs you tend to have several cities per country and way more countries than Norton VPN offers. So now I want to answer some basic questions when it comes to the Norton VPN. The first being is can I use Norton VPN for torrenting and the answer is yes. They actually have dedicated torrent optimized uh, regions to pick from in the locations and if you use these then you can uh, transfer files or use peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and torrent with no issues at all. So the next question is can I use Norton VPN for Netflix streaming or other streaming services and I found when it comes to for example Netflix that it's about 50-50. Some servers work and others are just blocked so it depends on your luck and which servers that you pick. So the next question is does Norton VPN store logs and the answer is no they do not store any logs and you won't have to worry about them keeping any data on you or anything like that. So the next question is is Norton VPN safe and the answer is yes they use 256 bit AES encryption which many other VPN services use and from what I've tested their service is great. They don't have any data leaks or anything like that and they have some great features such as split tunneling and a kill switch uh, to further improve your privacy and uh, improve your experience when using the VPN. So for the final question is, is Norton VPN free? And the answer is no, but they do offer a free trial for 30 days. So if you want to test out the VPN before you buy, then you can test it out. And then if you don't like it, you can just cancel. Or if you like it, you can keep the VPN uh, for a longer period of time. So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And this will give you the best price possible. And I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.